Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a coloring video for my hair, of course. Uh, this is an old wig that I had. I can't remember the company that I got this wig from, but I will leave that down in the description box for you guys. But I wanted to do the skunk stripe, so I decided to highlight just the front portion of the wig to achieve that skunk stripe look. So here you see me mixing the the uh, powder and the liquid of course and then I'm just parting right there just to see where exactly I want to add the bleach and that's all that I'm basically doing is just adding the bleach to the front of the hair and I'm going to use my brush to brush it in and when I start brushing it in you'll see that the strokes that I'm using are like uh, vertical strokes going up and down instead of the vertical way because if you do that you'll see that nasty line of demarcation and that is not cute. Y'all I literally just realized that I was not wearing gloves so that's why I was like okay no don't do that but I only found one glove so I just put it on my left hand which is where I was mostly touching with uh, the left hand like touching the product and stuff like that but um yeah so i'm still you know brushing the product in and then i did use a comb to kind of comb it in it's not i mean this is just a wig so i wouldn't suggest doing that to your natural hair if you wanted to color your hair but since it's just a wig i did comb it in i don't know if i did get that portion of the uh clip there but yeah so i'm oh yeah there it goes okay <laughs> so um, I was brushing it in. I did not record myself doing the other side, which is fine. So um, here you see me going to put the foil on and I left it on for about 20 minutes. I didn't want the color to lift too, too blonde. I wanted it to be a more brownish color. So I didn't leave it in so long and it was uh, 30 volume. So it didn't lift that much. So left it on and now I am going to rinse it off there you see me wearing two gloves now I did find another glove and I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it off and then uh, shampoo it out and condition the wig I forgot to mention I did use the Shimmer Lights shampoo to get rid of the brassiness. I left it on for about 10 minutes and then I rinsed it out. Then I used my Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner to use on the wig. I love this product here on my wigs. You guys, if you do not know, this is my holy grail on my wigs, especially the conditioner and it smells so good. And what I did with the conditioner, I saturated the wig with it and I put it in a plastic bag and I left it in there for an hour. The wig came out looking flawless. It was so soft and, you know, especially with the part that was colored, it was so soft there too. So I really, really, really enjoy the shampoo and conditioner.
this wig looks. It looks so soft. Trust me, it was soft. It is soft and flowy. And I love the way the front came out. Perfect. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wasn't feeling the wig like that. Well, at least that look. The wand curls came out nice, but... I didn't like the fullness of it on top and I think it was because of my foundation. My hair underneath was poofy and uh, don't forget that I do have my starter locks underneath which are kind of locking so it made it full. Normally I, I would I was able to lay my hair down you know flat without any problems but I was in a rush. I was going out that night so I was just trying my best to make it flat up front and I was like, oh, I don't want to mess up these curls. So I just did what I could. But then you'll see a few days later, I decided to brush the curls out and I did a side part and it looks much better. And I actually cut some layers in the wig also. And I love the look so much better. end of the video and if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos as always stay safe stay blessed and i will see you guys in my next video bye